Okay, good, talk. good morning, everyone. Once again, I welcome you to this again one session, which is based on one word substitute. I want to wish you again a wonderful good morning, because this, uh, if we wake up every morning healthy, happy, and with a zeal to learn something new, that that is the proof that this this world is beautiful. That we should be thankful to God and for everything He has added in our life. So we are ready to launch right now on this path of learning. One word substitute, as we have discussed in the previous session, which was about crossword puzzle. We will learn this one word substitute with the help of these tools again through crossword puzzles and search word word puzzles. Here we start. So these are the words uh, on the right hand side. Uh, rules are given on cross and down. So first of all, we have to match this. Only then we will be able to fill this crossword puzzle. And before we begin, I assure you, if you stay the zeal to learn, the curiosity, and be attentive to the session. You are you are going to master more than fifty new words, and along with uh, some exercises and mental mental stimulus, mental exercise of learning. So when we learn words through some tools, they get rooted for a longer period of time. If we simply write words on a piece of paper or on a diary and we just want to remember them or learn them, it is very hard for us to remember it. Secondly, it is said words are remembered in some context, in some relation. That is why when we were in school, we learned so many stories and within that stories, we got acquainted to many new words. Those words are remembered still there are a lot of words we remember because of those story we were able to relate those words to the story and various situation of life so simply uh, this is a tool uh, crossword puzzle and search word, word puzzle that means we keep on thinking again and again about these words so uh, you have to match this like uh, blocks you have to so this way, that means horizontally you have to take these words and vertically they are down on the way. A building in which aircraft are housed. So we have to decide where to find out all of these words which is given on my right hand. Words uh, like uh, sojourn, hanger, weed, contagious, tendon, dormitory, anonymous. Antidote, obituary, book, form, and posthumous. These are the words. Okay, first one a building in which aircraft are housed. So there are some words which are which are very unfamiliar. A child born after death of his father, can a new word. A disease which is spread by direct contact. Contagious. Very good. So Sixth one is contagious. Sixth one is contagious. Absolutely right. I think third, what about third? A building in which aircraft are housed. Okay, which are which we find the words or the sentences which we find difficult, we'll put them aside and we'll do it later on. A large sleeping room with many beds. Large dormitory. Dormitory. So contagious is done. Medicine to reduce the effect of poison. Antidote. And a person deeply interested in reading. Bookworm. Bookworm. 
bicycle for two or more people. Again, this is a new word we haven't discussed so far in any of our class. Okay, uh, uh, brief or short to stay at a place. This is a hangar. No, 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 hangar. Uh, when we take hangar, so where we think things can be hanged. Something is hanged here, so hanger is a place, hanger is a building where aircrafts are housed, they are kept, okay, where uh, aircrafts are kept, where aircrafts are kept, where aircrafts are kept, where aircrafts are kept, where meaning are kept, where aircrafts 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 are kept, Let us suppose some um, uh, uh, Vaishnavi version can be done. We can go to the Alumnus. Alumnus. Okay. Alumnus. Okay. This is alumnus. Uh, alumnus is a singular. Okay. It is used for single single person. And um, can you tell me the plural form of it? And it is it is you know it is buzzword these days. Colleges, schools, teachers. Alumni. Alumni. Very good. Alumni. They keep keep uh, using this word. This is a buzzword this time. Alumni. Bicycle for two or more people. Okay, tandem. This is tandem. Okay. And not only riding but driving seat. We may say that means two person can. They have facility to hold the handle and pedal also. Both of them, both of them can pedal. So generally, we see a cycle, bicycle, where two person can sit, one rides or one pushes it, pushes the paddles. Holds the handle and other person remain passive. But from this kind of tandems are both bicycles where both the person, sometimes two or more than two, both have handle in their hand and they can pedal. Okay, this way uh, the bike moves on. So, so, so far we have decided these words. We have finalized. Okay, now let's move forward. Now we have to solve this crossword puzzle. Large sleep, a large sleeping room with many beds. A large 
मीटिंग के लिए समझ में आई चलिए इसे डॉमेटी है With the help of this, we can fill it. First one is tender, second one is torture, third one is anger, fourth one is costume, fifth one is heat, sixth is contagious, eleven is dormitory, antidote, audition, and book work. Let me check where it is. Pretty easy. Now it's pretty easy to do it. Look at we have his numbers like So learning one word substitute using word search puzzle. Word search puzzle. Okay. So we have a detective here on, on my left hand side. Okay. Can you name me any famous detective? Any famous detective you have heard? Actually, can you hear me? Any famous detective to Yasu Sapnesunaho? Okay, I'm Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock Holmes. Today, you are Sherlock Holmes today. We have to find out these words. Okay, one word substitute. These are eleven more one word substitute. Eleven nine we have completed. Eleven more. So let me check. Can you do it on your own? A person who does not believe in any religion, you know, no. Okay. A person has someone in difficulty. This we have this already discussed in one of my class. And that word is start with S. Okay. A person who can speak true language. It start with B. A person who is unable to pay debt. Debts. Person who lives by himself. Third one is bilingual. Exactly. Third one is bilingual. Okay. A person who loves mankind. A person who never took it. Okay, okay, okay. I can give you more. Can you match these words now? It is pretty easy for you. Now it is a little bit easier for you. Okay. Okay. Let's start from the first one. A person does not believe in any religion. A person does not believe in any religion. Okay, it's difficult. We put it aside. We'll move to second. A person who has someone in difficulty. That's Samaritan. Not, yeah, Samaritan. Yeah. Samaritan. Okay. So, uh, 
A person who can speak two languages, that means bilingual. A person who is unable to pay debt. We have two words. One word is very famous. You know, bankrupt. Someone who is bankrupt. Another word is insolvent. A person who lives by himself. Again, difficult. Okay, let us put it aside. A person who loves mankind. Wait for it. The person who never takes alcoholic drink. This side of this. Teetotler. Teetotler. And I give you a mnemonic service. Like mnemonics we have. T he just kill you total ho. Kewal bichara chai pita ho. Teetotler. A person who is against war or violence. Person who is against the war or violence. Okay. A person who pretends to be what he is not. Okay. Place where bees are kept. And place where the birds are kept. A theory is for bees, a theory is place and for birds a theory. Just remember, a theory is in the world. Where birds are kept. So we have let's say the person does not believe in any religion. Can you make any guess now? Person does not believe in any religion. Specifist. शांत रखता हो लोगों को यानी जो युद्ध के अगेंस्ट हो वायलेंस के अगेंस्ट हो कुछ मैच कर रहा है तो अ पर्सन हु अगेंस्ट वॉर और वायलेंस ए पैसिफिस हम इसको अगर आप टाइम्स ऑफ इंडिया या हिंदुस्तान टाइम्स इंग्लिश न्यूज़पेपर देखें तो यू फाइंड दिस वर्ड रेगुलरली एंड वन शुड रीड रेगुलरली न्यूज़पेपर एंड मैगजीन्स टू इंप्रूव वोकैबुलरी टू इंप्रूव इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज a person does not believe in any religion is Pagan. Okay, Mr. Pagan. This is again a new word for us, Pagan. A person who lives by himself. This term is what it means? Lives by himself. What it means? Lives by himself. What it means? It means that he is alone. Like she, she does her work. All by herself. She writes all by herself. He he goes by himself, herself. यानी अपने आप को तो recluse. मेरे पास एक word है recluse. Recluse हम कहते हैं जो सन्यासी साधु जो अकेले रहते हैं स्वयं अपना जीवन को अकेले ही रहते हैं विवाह नहीं करते हैं इसे हम कहते हैं recluse. या दूसरा एक और टाइम है जो रिक्लूज हम मोमेंटरली उस व्यक्ति के लिए भी लगाते हैं जो अचानक किसी ग्रुप या किसी पार्टी या किसी समूह का हिस्सा नहीं होता क्योंकि ही सिटिंग देयर लाइक अ रिक्लूज समटाइम वी यूज इट लाइक दिस आल्सो अ पर्सन लव्स मैन काइंड ओके आई थिंक वी आर लेफ्ट देख ओनली वन थोड़ा वर्ड्स को समझना पड़ता है जब भी फिल आए ना फिल ये फिल आए याद रखो फिल जब भी फिल हो तो इसका मतलब लव होगा फिल का मतलब होता है लव ठीक है जब भी कोई वर्ड इससे स्टार्ट हो तो आप समझना लव जैसे फिलोसफी फिलोसफी फिलो मेंस लव सोफी मेंस नॉलेज फिलोसफी इज लव फॉर नॉलेज फिलोसफी ओके so whenever the word any word starts and most of the time P H I L so its meaning meaning would be love. Okay. So let's go forward. Do you remember these words? Yeah. So 
problem i made it very easy for you you have to find you have to search these words like a detective others are in mining or in solving they are hidden somewhere in this this cross you know words uh, given in a zigzag manner you know you all in the book within them you have to find all uh, these words so search for that and you can go cross you can go down you can search diagonally all Okay. Let us let us make it clear also. But one more thing we should remember. What is that? For for the formation of words, vowels are needed. A, B, e, I, O, U. These are vowels. जब भी कोई word बनेगा, ये vowels They are needed. इनके बिना तो वर्ड बन ही नहीं सकते इसलिए बात और है समटाइम ये वाई जो है वाई समटाइम ये दिस वाई ऑल्सो एक्ट एज वाउ तो जब कोई वर्ड बनेगा उसमें ये होने चाहिए बीच में जैसे हम कहें अगर हम कहें डी 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 के एल सी दे के नॉट बी वर्ड बिकॉज दे डोंट हैव वाउल्स इन बिट सिम तो पहले हम शब्द ढूंढ लेते हैं और फिर देख लेते हैं कि इसमें है कि नहीं अब जैसे यहाँ देखें डब्ल्यू ए टी consonant here there is a consonant there is vowel again consonant vowel and sound so we found one word water okay this is a word but, but unfortunately they are we this is not the word that we are looking for so this is this is not required this is not what the knowledge we have to search for the samaritan bilingual in sol okay let's go across No, no vowels. Give it, give it aside this way. A H W A T I O T E R T. Okay, we got this. Here we got one. Isn't it? Okay. This way. Sir, in the last two pagan. And above it, teetotaler. Two rows above it, bilingual. find some more words sir in the third column recluse
Hindu seventh column Samaritan. Sir, can I mark one word here using my pen? Yes. Sir, a very 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 okay. Your pen is not visible. Yet. You mark something. Okay. Okay. Sir, I think you are whatever you do. Fourth row. The word starting with a. If diagonally, it is. Sir, first fourth row, first word a very. Diagonally. Finally, we got it. This kind of work is such a role. Very different. Okay, sometimes it happens. And this, this process we enjoy because uh, we are focused, we are just thinking about these words. That is why these, these words are absorbed in our mind. We remember for a long, long, long time. Insolvent is left. Insolvent. Pacifist is also not here. Pacifist also is not there. Let me mark it. Pacifist. Okay. 
so we were able to do it. Like the fifth night uh, and the solvent is not there. That means we were able to find out rest of the world. The solvent is left out and the is still left out. Yes, that is already not clear. Anyway, so uh, it is a matter for us to be feeling when you do something successfully. So let us look at these words once again. What are the words we have learned today? So these are the first words. Okay. A bicycle for two more people, that is tandem. A brief or short stay at a place to serve. A building in which we have a house, that is anger. A child, a child born after the death of his father. Perfumes. Perfumes. A big a decorative ring of flowers and leaves to breathe, a disease which is spread by direct contact that is contagious, a former, former student of a school college or university that is that of alumnus, a large sleeping room made so, uh, with many beds, dormitory, uh, uh, remedy, a medicine against poison with antidote, a notice of a person's death arbitrarily, a person of deeply, person who is deeply interested in reading the book of the book. Okay, we've done this, we've done this. Okay, let's read them again. A person who does not believe in any religion, a hit pagan, a person who helps someone in difficulty, uh, he is Samaritan, a person who can speak two languages by language, a person who is unable to pay debts, that is insolvent, a person who lives by himself is. A person who loves mankind, philanthropist, a person who never takes alcoholic drinks, he is a toddler, a person who is against war and violence, pacifist. And we must remember the word pacifier, calm down. A person who pretends to be what he is not, imposter, a place where these are kept, a theory. Where birds are kept at the area. So uh, I thank you. Today you attended once more this class. I hope you are gaining knowledge. You are taking a lot of benefit out of it. So complete it today at 9 plus 11 20. You uh, one word substitute. Many words that we knew with us. Some of you we already knew. Okay, once again, thank you for being with me. Have a nice day. Thank you, sir.